tell you about it. My friend, when you feel like there's no hope, just name. Yeah. You got someone you'd be praying for that maybe has lied to you, stole from you, did a lot of things to you, brought darkness in your life, and you're giving up on them. I hope it's one of those. His name is Jesus. Yeah. Bible says in Revelation 12 11, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb yeah. and by the word of their testimony and loved not their lives unto death. Just to give you a little bit of my history, uh, there at Russian Mountain Prison, I know y'all don't have all day unless anybody bring bag lunches for tonight, but I appreciate each one of you has come out. I pray you didn't come to see Robert Gibson. I pray when you leave here that name Jesus yeah. will be ringing in your heart. And I pray today if you don't know him as your personal Savior, you go to church, you ain't in contact with this man named Jesus, you know him, but he don't know you. I pray today that he'll wrap his arms up around you yeah. and love you like no one on the face of this earth can love you today. What a man. His name is Jesus. So I went to a lot of different foster homes. By God, rights again, I should not be able to be here today. And I'm here for one purpose and one reason today. That is to glorify the man, Jesus Christ. I went into a lot of different foster homes and training schools and all this stuff. A wicked little kid when I was young and, and unruly, didn't listen to my parents and all old stuff. At the age of, uh, went into a lot of tattoo center and foster and all that stuff. And at the age of about uh, 16 years old, I wound up catching a $2 wrong robbery charge. Now I'm not going to say nothing to you today to boast one bit whatsoever. By all rights. I'll say I deserve the death penalty. But his name is Jesus. Yeah, amen. Amen. That which you think there's no hope for. And you see that's wicked throughout our country today. And children and parents that's going astray and doing a lot of ungodly things. Can I say his name is Jesus. I remember in the Bible <laughs> where a man there was four people, good picture of the church. They went as far as taking a section off of the roof of the house mm -hmm. to get this man down into Jesus. And I guess I could say right there, there's a good message right there. That lost soul sinner, that junkie, that harlot, that, that wicked one, you know, deep within inside their soul, they're saying, somebody get me to Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you just get them to Jesus, Jesus can take care of the rest of it. But then they said there was no hope for Robert Gibson. I looked at it that way before I met this man named Jesus. There at Brushy Mountain Prison, I wound up with, uh, there in Knox County Jail with <coughs> there and uh, wind up with a fella mistaking me for a woman. And I'll be honest with you, God made me 100% man. And I wind up catching second degree murder charge there in Knox County Jail. I don't say that boldly. I should have got the death penalty. But let me give you some scripture. The Bible says over in Isaiah, even everyone that's called by my name, I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. All mankind, even that one out there today that's involved in drugs and that old trunk, whichever it may be, hey, they was created for the glory of God. All mankind. People look at Robert Gibson and say, there's no hope. Can I say something to you? In Romans 5, 8, the Bible says, but God, with man there is no hope. He said, but God, commending his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The Bible says there's none good, no, not one. All are righteous and just filthy wise. There's not a just man upon earth that good, good, and sin it not. There's none of us, my friend, that's a ride. I don't care what kind of badge you have on, what kind of home you own down the street, what kind of vehicle you drive. My friend, we all need this man, yes. Christ Jesus. Yes. He loves sinners. Old Paul said it this way. It's the faithful saying, worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus 
Got mom and daddy. Thank oh, God no. for mamas and daddy no. that's reaching out and papas and people that's reaching out to this lost and dying world. But Paul says, but Christ Jesus yeah. came into the world to save sinners yeah. of whom I am chief. Yeah. You're a chief sinner too, my friend. Yeah. Whether you did time in prison, got caught, did it, right. it doesn't matter, my friend. Psalm 51 5 said, Behold, I was shaken in iniquity and yes. in sin did my mother conceive yeah, me. That's, right. that's all mankind. Yeah. But his name is Jesus. Yeah. Well, Robert Gibson, I didn't know this man named Jesus, got over there. Wind up with a 99 year sentence there in Knox County Jail. 18 years old, they sent me on up there and brushed him out in prison. I'll be honest with you, when I seen those big steel doors open up, I was thinking, my goodness, here's my whole life right here. I've messed my life up, but there was wickedness in my heart. Why do people do drugs? Why are people doing the wicked things in this world? Why is our world wicked as it is today? There's a verse in the Bible for every question you might have. He says over in Jeremiah 9, 17, he said, Man's heart is wicked above all things yeah, sure. and desperately wicked. Who can know it? That's all mankind. Yeah. Everybody's born with a wicked heart. But I'm glad, glory to God, over in the book of Ezekiel, we said, God said he would give a man a new heart. Yeah. Yeah. And a new spirit when he put with him. Yeah. Somebody get me to Jesus. That's what that sinner's crying out for. That man that's on those drugs, that old alcoholic. They're just crying out to those that say they're children of God, yeah. a man and woman of God, for you to reach down and love them in their condition and say, My I know my God is able. Yeah. Yeah. That is what it takes to love that sinner yes. in their condition. Yes. Jesus loved you in your condition, didn't sure he? Is. He came to where you was at and yeah. found you yeah. and brought you out. But old Robert, I didn't know this man named Jesus. But there was a man, came in over at Russia Mountain, there, and his name was Donnie Moore. And I don't toot his horn, but I thank God he didn't give up, amen. Can I say today, if you're here today and you're giving up on somebody, you prayed for them, you spent your money, you've tried, you've given, you've done all this, just get out of the way and let God. Yes. And you keep on praying. Because yeah. God is able yeah. to save sinners. That's what He went to Calvary for. Perfect. Thank God He just saves good sinners, bad sinners in between. For all the sin comes toward the glory of God. Got over there. And I'll be honest with you, it was dark, it was dreary. I didn't enjoy being where I was at, even though I deserved to be where I was at. And you know what I started doing? I started shooting dope. I've shot more dope than Ben King got pork and beans. They've been in business 125 years. I've done it all. I've had my mind altered in every kind of way. I've smoked the dope. I was violent. I was one of the worst of the worst. But Jesus. But Jesus. Are you giving up on somebody? His name is Jesus. He just saved sinners. And so look at old Donnie come in over there at Russia Mountain. And where people were saying there's no hope for it, he'll always be that way. He is what he does. Donnie come by my cell, he didn't say this. Again, myself and six other men wind up, I'm going to get in a lot of that prison stuff. His name is Jesus. Right. That's the one I want you to hear about right. today more than anything about Robert Gibson in prison. His name is Jesus, my friend, and there's hope for the hopeless. Yeah. He's just an old sinner. But old Donnie, look at me and myself, they got him, we took some car touches, wind up doing it, and a couple other men wind up getting killed and involved in drugs and all this stuff. And you heard that on this video right here. Wind up doing four and a half years in solitary confinement. Deserved every day of it. But Jesus, I'm talking about the Lord point and the doctor point of anyone's life. Jesus still looking down. He said, I love him. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. She is somebody. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you say. I died for that sin. Yeah. I'm glad going to God that Jesus done it all. And man had nothing to do with right. it. Right. His name is Jesus. Amen. Man gets no glory. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Got over there, did four and a half years of locked up where you could touch from cell to cell on the walls in the room, come on at your head. I deserved it all. But then old Donnie Moore, volunteer chaplain, come in. He'd come by myself when he first come by and say, Now, Donnie, unless you want me to cuss you, now you need to move on. 
Donnie knew he couldn't save me. He knew he's God could. So. Yeah. Yeah. Donnie would respect me and didn't try to shove Christ down my throat. Didn't try to make me to become a Christian. Here's what he would say. He didn't say, Robert, you old junk, you old sorry thing, you. You get everything you deserve. You'll never change. You're about who you ought to be. No, if you're kicking somebody like that, let me give you a scripture. Brother, if any of you do be overtaken in the fall, then you can. Oh, yeah. You ain't arrived. Your flesh ain't saved. Brother, if any of you will be overtaken in the fall, you as a spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, Amen. considering thyself. At least I also be tempted. God said, Satan is out to sift you. He told Peter. Yeah. Satan is out to, oh no, Peter said, I'll die with you. I'll yeah. go all the way. He said, Peter, before the cock crow, three times, time and now, man, you know the story. Yeah. My friend, don't tell me you'll never turn your back on God. It's only because of God's mercy and grace, my friend. We are who we are yeah. today. Yeah. God holds your very breath in His hand. Yeah. He made you get up this morning for one purpose and one reason. That is to glorify His holy yeah. and precious Amen. name. Amen. His name is Jesus. Hey, old Donnie, when we come by, didn't yeah. slam you. You know what He told me? Love you, boy. Bless you. Pray uh, for you, boy. Love you, boy. And he did that for eight years. Even when I was shooting the dope and being ungodly. Oh, Donnie kept coming by. He said, I know my God is able. Is your God able? Have you given up? Is your God able? Did he save your soul? That's what God does. He saves souls. Oh, Donnie kept coming. I got out of me and straight lock up. Got over there. I said, I'm going to go and get on the back row. Jim Worthley said, I'm going to get on the back row today. That's all right. That's what God caught me at. He's a best yeah. fisherman. Yeah. He said, follow me and I'll make you hey, fishers of him. I'm telling you, God's hand, his hand is not too short. His uh, ear ain't too heavy. Right, yeah. And he can't reach out to that one. Yes. And say that so when everyone else gives up. My Jesus is able. But listen, let me hurry up here. I know y'all got trouble. Oh, yeah, but I met a man named Jesus. Hey, been the same shit. You ought to have some joy unspeakable in your heart. My friend, if you don't ever tell nobody, I'm going to tell you the Bible scripture in there. The Bible says, if you don't ever go outside the Christian body and let nobody know they love them, the Bible says, examine your heart. Examine uh, yourself whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know not your own self. How that Christ Jesus is in you. Except you be a rapper. I met Jesus, my friend, and I want to tell somebody. Yeah. I have a desire to tell the whole world yes. if God allows me to. I don't have no theology, but I do have theology. I've yeah. been to the foot of Calvary. Yeah. I don't have no problem with education. Thank yeah. God for it. Yeah. But I didn't have any. Couldn't read it, man. Donnie kept coming. I got over on that back row where they were preaching Jesus. Preaching Jesus. There's something about the power of that name. Yeah. Hey, Jesus, he prayed. But at the end of the service, he said, if you be here today, you lost an undone, you don't know this Jesus. He said, you'd like to know him when you raise your head up. You know what got in my way? It's called pride. Yes. Yeah. You know what gets in our way? It's called pride. You know the first thing God said he hated yes. is a proud That's, right. That's pride. Who has that? We all do. Yeah. We pray to what somebody else might think. Oh, Paul said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, uh -huh. for it is the power of God and the salvation of everyone that believed it to the Jew first and also the Greek. How God born again. My friend, I ain't been the same since. Yeah, right. And I'll say it this way. If you yeah, still yeah. is what you was, you ain't. Because the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new, new creature. Old yes, thing pass away. Right. Behold, all things become new. Yes. yes. You say, why are you so loud? If you've done a football game, you'd be a scout. And look over yeah. 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 His name is Jesus. Amen. Yeah. That's why God gave me a mouthpiece. He built in a speaker. Yeah, but look yeah. at me go on. Don said, I wanted to raise my hand, but I didn't. It felt like it was a million pounds. And I'm telling you, I was big enough to raise it too. I looked like an old grizzly bear. Thought I was somebody. And then I met a man. I met the man, toughest man. I mean, a lot of tough men over in prison. I'm talking about some dangerous men, men that'll kill you just a snap of the finger. And oh, there's some tough guy, but I met the toughest one I've ever met in my yeah. life. His name is Jesus. Hey, you know I spit in my face, put a crown of thorns on me, beat me. Not even today. His name is Jesus. Hey, Donnie said, there'd be someone here want to be saved tonight. Would you raise your hand? I didn't. And then he said this. 
If you go out tonight and you go back to your little prison bunk, he said, I pray the Holy Ghost of God moves on you all night long. Yeah. He deals with you all night yeah. long. He loves on you all night long. And then on the way out the door that night, you know what Donnie done? He hugged my neck. He said, love you, boy. Yeah. Pray for me. Oh, yeah. Have you been praying for somebody? Yeah. Don't give up. Are they still going down that road? You're not God. You can't save them. But God is able yes. to save a sinner. Yes. Got back that night. Flipped and flopped all night long. Early next morning, I heard somebody say, who's got the keys to one walk? You know who it was? Oh, Donnie boy. Yeah. Oh, Donnie boy. He come in and he said, Robert, I told you. You know, you wouldn't sleep all night, but God wouldn't let me sleep all night either. I come back again this morning yeah. to tell you, love you, boy. Yeah. Be praying for you. He said, would you like to have his Jesus? I said, I thought the question would never be asked again. See, God didn't have to let me live all night. He says, over in Genesis, my spirit will not always right. strive with man. Right. That's right. But God's a first chance, a second chance, yeah. a third chance, a fourth chance, God. He just loves sinners. Yeah. That morning, January 5th, 1988, and here's what was happening to me. I didn't even know the Bible then. Didn't even know John 3, 16. John 6, 44 says this. No man come to me yes, except the Father which oh, sent me draw. draws him. Yes, sir, and sir. I'll raise him up the last day. Yeah, yeah. Man didn't say Robert Gibson. No. Man don't get no glory. Yeah. And my friend, if you've given any man glory for your salvation, you've got it all backwards. Yes, Jesus, he said, some water, some plant which yeah. gets no glory. And God yeah. gives an increase. Yeah, right. If God didn't give the increase and you're counting some man giving him some glory, uh -huh. you missed the mark. Yes, Amen. Sir, man. His name right. is Jesus. And he gets all glory yes, and all honor. And yes. so I'm going to say this right here and try to close off. I met a man named Jesus January 5th, 1988. I couldn't read and write. And uh, so I went back to the same man to save me. I said, Lord, how can I tell someone about you? You know what the Bible says? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. My opinion, no your opinion, count for nothing. I've seen them dress it up, cross every T, hit every eye, but then there ain't no Holy Ghost with it. That's right. yeah. It takes the Holy Ghost of God Amen. to draw a man to the foot of Calvary and save his soul. Yes, sir. But again, that day he got born again, went back to God, and you know what? God gave me that old book. He put me in that old book and I began to try to read. Yeah, but guess what? Yeah. It came alive. Yeah. It was alive. Yeah. It was alive. Yeah. 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 They yeah. said, you know what? No words started coming alive. And it goes right back to this. His name is Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You say, well, how'd you get out of prison? I did 22 more years. Got into discipleship training, went into all that, you know, all that right there. I met a man named Jesus. And what I did there in prison, I began to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let those men know you are somebody. God loves you despite of how much time you have. You may have three life sentences, four life sentences, nine, nine, whatever it may be. God is able. He says over there in Hebrews, let your conversation be without covenant. Be content with such things you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee Amen. nor forsake thee. And I'm telling you, God never left me those 22 years I'd done. I'll be honest, I was content right where I was at. I didn't get saved to get out of prison. I got saved because I was a sinner. Yeah. I had the cure. Let me tell you, Christian, I'm going to hurry. Yeah, Woo. No. I met a man named Jesus. Yeah. Christian friend, if you're not telling no one, let me give you a scripture that applies to every born again believer. 2 yeah. Corinthians 5 and 18. It says, and all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Yeah. He says, as every man has received the gift, even so minister yeah. the same one to another of good stewards of the manifold grace of God. What kind of gift did you receive? Christmas is coming up. I guarantee you this place give you a new car. You jump up and say, whoa! Oh, my Toyota. Man, they gave me the best and the most expensive car there is. What about this man yeah. named Jesus? Amen. Amen. 
He paid the ultimate price. Mm -hmm. And it's free to you and I. Yes, How'd you get out, Robert? 22 years later, they came and said, Robert, you're going home. I said, it's impossible. I didn't get saved to get out. I got saved because I was a sinner. He said, you're going home. They called me up there and showed it to me on the paperwork. I said, wow, there's my God. And then I read in the Bible, he says this, what's impossible with man yeah. right. is possible yes. with Amen. God. Amen. That worst of the worst, even on this land today, my friend Jesus loves them. Yes. What's impossible with God? So God opened the prison doors. Why did he do that? Yeah. That I could be right here today yes. telling Amen. you, yeah. Jesus loves you. Amen. You Amen. are somebody. Amen. That one that you're letting give it up on. Can I tell you, Jesus loves him just as much as he loves you. Right. There's no such thing as a hopeless case. His name is Jesus. Amen. Now I'm gonna give I don't believe in getting out and sharing the gospel and the love of Jesus without giving an invitation. Right. I don't God. never I don't Bless never take God. it for granted that everybody says they're saved, they're saved. Right. Right. I believe there's a lot of people who get saved instead of saved. Yeah. I see it in churches, yeah. I see it in prisons. Come on, brother. And I'm gonna give you a Bible scripture on that. The Bible says godly sorrow workers repentance yeah. to salvation, yeah. not to be repented of. Yeah. But the sorrow of the world work of death. There's people that's on drugs. They'll want out of that darkness. It's all real. It's reality. There's the voices. There's troubles. There's darkness of this world. And people want out of it. No doubt they'll go to church be invited. And they want out of that trap. And they'll go down and cry crocodile tears. Go through all the motions. Yep. Be sincere within themselves. Uh -huh. But they didn't come as a sinner. They that's became right. as their circumstances was hurting them yes, and bothering them. Yeah. And they trusted Jesus, but he still didn't know them. Yeah. Godly sorrow, workers uh -huh. repent to salvation, not to be repented of. Amen. So today, if you have worldly Bless sorrow, can I tell you today, you still haven't went too far. Mm -hmm. Church membership won't get you to heaven. On, it won't get you to heaven. Uh, it, being baptized won't get you to heaven. That's right. It takes the blood of Jesus. Amen. Well, Brother Robert, you said you're going to tell us. I'm going to tell you. Now, by how can I be saved if I'm not saved? The Bible says it. First of all, the Holy Ghost of God's got to be moving. Right. John 6, 44, No man come to me except the Father which sent me draws him, and I'll raise him up in the last day. And in Romans 10, 9, 10 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made to salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, sir. I wonder today, and I'm going to ask this question to shut up. I wonder today if there be someone in the midst of us, and I know what's going on right now, Satan say, everybody thinks you're saved. Everybody, I mean, everybody knows all about you. You're just so sweet. You got roses kept planted all about you. You got angels flying all about your head. And nobody else really knows. But I'm going to tell you today, the one that does know. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Amen. He's reaching extended mercy once again out to your heart today. If you don't know this Jesus today, you can be birthed into the family of God. Yes. He loves you. And I tell you, it takes a real man a real woman to stand and say, I'm the one to stand yeah. in the need of prayer. Yeah. Not looking to the left, not looking to the right. Yeah. He said, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, but when I became a man, we ain't talking physical, we're speaking spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. When I became a man, I put away childish things. Yeah. Are you still what you was? God loves you today. So that invitation is standing out to you. If you're here today, I don't believe I, some people say, shut your eyes, bow your head. Jesus yeah, didn't shut his eyes, bow his head, but he went to Calvary. No, he right. walked publicly yes, and knew everything about Robert Gibson when he was going to Calvary. Yes, publicly when they were thinking. Yes, then that told me, bought him. Yeah, he he said, I love Robert Gibson. God bless he loves you today. Yeah, if you're not saved today, you can be. Hey, this can be a day at Toyota that you'll never forget. Right, right. And his name right. is Jesus. Amen. Would there be one today that said, Brother Robert, I'd like to be Amen. saved today. I done prayed the prayer, but it just didn't work. My life is still what it was. I'm still just as dark and very, and nobody really knows, but Jesus has spoke to my heart today, and I'd like to trust him as Lord and Savior. Would there be one? Would there be one? 
God don't need my help. I pray if you're here today and God's loving on you and you've never been saved, you go back to your little cell tonight. Your little, I said cell. You go back to your little house tonight where you may be living and you don't sleep one way. That's right. You flip and pop all night long. Yeah. And you'll call on that man, Jesus. Yes. I'm going to say this in close. I know y'all got to go, but boy, I can't <coughs> preach it, brother. Listen, I want to can I encourage you just one minute? I know we as children of God go through troubles and trials and tribulations. Darkness comes our way. We fail the task sometimes. I want to give you some scripture. You know what I do when I get that way? I go back to the same thing and say, Lord, you said. God, you said. What did you say? Now, over in Nahum 170, he says, The Lord is good, a stronghold yeah. in a day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Yes. yes, he did over in Isaiah 43 and verse 2. He says, When I go through the fire, when I walk through the fire, when I go through the water, shall not overflow thee. When I walk through the fire, shall not burn thee. Neither shall the flame kindle up on thee. God said it's going to come. But then he got a phone number over in the Bible, Jeremiah 33, 3. He said this, Call unto me. Yes. You may not be able to fix my issue. I may not let me tell you you might go gossip about it but his name is Jesus yes, yes. call unto me and I will that's a promise from God yes. I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things yes. which thou knowest not Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, once again, God, for taking these ordinances and claim. God, that you formed the dust of ground for one purpose and one reason, to glorify thy name. I pray today, Lord, for every soul, every heart, God, is here. God, this little gathering place. Now, to be one of the midst of us that doesn't know you free part of the sins, I pray, God, your love, your mercy, your grace, God, will follow them throughout this day. Maybe they'll get with some of them the days after and say, I need this, Jesus. I pray, God, there's someone here today that's been discouraged along the way and been going through a valley. God, you encourage their heart. Let them know that, God, you still sit upon thy throne and there's still hope. Your mercy and your grace is still extended. Giving you all glory, all honor, and all praise. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, folks. Glory to God for allowing me to stand. Amen. Once again, for the glory of God. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Amen.